Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today's video is something so special. I am heading to the Caribbean with both of my parents and we are going on vacation. So I'm going to take you along throughout this entire journey and let you see what we get up to. So grab a snack and I will see you tomorrow morning at the airport. Let's get on vacation. Good morning guys, it is bright and early. It is like uh, 5.30 in the morning. We are just headed to the airport. It's me, my mom, and my dad, and we're getting ready to get on the lift right now. And I will see you once we get through security. All right, we have made it through security and we are getting ready to board the plane and on to Miami. Let's get on board. All right guys, we are on the plane. We officially boarded and transferring me was not too bad. So I'm glad that I made it on the plane and let's get to Miami in the sunshine. Hey guys, so I'm in the middle of the air right now and I just wanted to show you how I use my thumb since you know I'm disabled or paralyzed below the shoulders and so I just have it on like a phone mount for your desk. And so I basically just hook my phone up to it and then use it with my nose like I normally would in my chair. It works perfect. I'll see you in Miami. Alright, it is like almost 9 o'clock here and we have finally made it to Miami. We are in our Airbnb. I will do a little Airbnb tour before we leave. This one is really small. Um, we're staying in a bigger house after we get off of the cruise ship, but man, am I tired. That was a long flight. It was five hours and something from Portland to here in Miami. Um, I am gonna go get dinner with my mom. Mom, say hi. Hi. So, mom. Hi. And then um, I'm with my dad, but he's recording. And we're all gonna go eat and then come back and I think hit the hay so we can get up bright and early and go see what Miami has in store. I will see you guys in the morning. Popping back in real quick because I didn't mention it in the last clip, but they freaking broke my chair as I've talked about before. I am sure so many other people that are watching this with a disability that's in a wheelchair can relate, but look, they broke the back of my chair. Yes, I got it. Yeah. It's crooked. It won't work. Yeah, so they 
I don't know what they did. They obviously smashed it into something in the plane. But they broke it, and so now that means um, I need to get a hold of Alaska Airlines and see what the hell they're going to do about it, and they need to fix it. But I'm going to finish eating dinner, and I will see you guys in the morning. Morning, guys. It is bright and early on our first day in Miami, and I wanted to show you something as I'm getting ready for the day. So on mornings when I'm not going to shower or do a bed bath or anything, but I still need to wash my hair, I just wrap a towel around me, and then one of my good friends, Bree, who is a hairdresser, showed me this little um, like gown that they put around you at the hair shop, and we just put it on me backwards. That way, when I tilt back into the shower on my chair in my chair, the water just runs down that thing, and I don't get soaking wet, and I can still wash my hair. I am gonna get situated in this tiny ass bathroom. And then I'll show you that because I thought it would be interesting. So we have to make sure to take my headrest off. Obviously that cannot get wet because that has all of the wires and functions on how I drive my chair. And then you got it mom? Yeah, and then we it. just uh, wrap the towel around my neck. And then we put that little um, barber's cape on and then tilt my chair back and wash my hair and I'll show you it. how we wash my hair in the shower. All right, we are out and about, and we are gonna go do some shopping at this Bayside Marketplace. Turn around, show them that. Show them the shopping area. So, let's go do one of my favorite things and shop. There's my beautiful mom. Mom, say hi. Show journey. Show my camera. That is so cute. I don't know. Mom's doing her favorite thing, shopping. There's my dad over here. Dad, say hi. So we're out 
chopping and stuff. It might be a little windy. I don't know how well you can hear me, but I was told that the Ferris wheel was wheelchair accessible. So I was really excited to go get on it. And then of course they say it's only for manual wheelchairs and not power chairs. Stuff like that is so disappointing to me. It's like, if it's going to be accessible, make it accessible for everyone. It just really sucks. Um, hopefully I can find something else to do, but let's keep on moving. So I'm down at the water now and it is absolutely beautiful. Um, you can see all the cruise ships. I'll go this way. You can see that Virgin cruises over there. I'm not a virgin, so I can't go on it. That's a bummer. I'm just kidding, but it's a beautiful, beautiful bay. Time for margaritas. You can see my parents over there in front of those people. Mom's in a pink shirt. There she is. I think my dad got a lemon, skinny lemonade. And I'm not sure what flavor my mom got, but we will find out. And it's time to drink. Okay, mom and I have margaritas. I'm sharing with my dad, but let's give it a taste. That's good. And not very much lemonade, but yeah. Very tequila. All right, we've been shopping all day long and looking around, so now it's time for some lunch. We decided to come to Bubba Gump's and we are gonna get some good food. I'll show you what we get. All right, so our food just got here and we got, I think it's called like the All-American Platter. There's shrimp on top. Show them the shrimp. Oh, see it? Okay. It is going to be delicious. I'm so hungry. Let's All right, we finished that delicious lunch and now we've just been wandering around the city a bunch and we are on the, I think it's like the community college campus, but look at this crazy bowl. So I'll throw in some clips or whatever of the rest of the stuff we see on our little walk. And then I will meet you guys back at the Airbnb this evening to recap my day. No sleep, no things run dry, I'm empty. I can't see, I'm blinded by this concrete. I should call you, see what you've been up to I've been wondering how far did you go in seven months Alright guys, we are back at the Airbnb It has been such a long day 
I'm so tired. My mom is busy packing us all back up because tomorrow we head to the boat dock to get on our cruise and head to the Caribbean. I am so excited. Um, I cannot wait. It will actually be my first cruise. Today was a really good day, except there's been a couple times that I've, you know, really wanted to do something and they're not accessible. It's like, I don't know, every time it's also, it's, you know, that it happens, it's kind of like a gut punch that like, wow, I, I you know, like I really want to do this, but my disability stopped me again. But, you know, it's part of reality and I just kind of let the emotion go and move on to the next thing. My parents went to dinner tonight and I decided to stay back at the Airbnb by myself just to get some alone time. I'm a true cancer. I need my alone time. And also like my nerve pain has been so bad lately. And the only thing I can think of is that there's a time difference. And so my medicine is like, you know, taking it at a time that my body is not used to. And so, man, my nerve pain has been excruciating today and especially this evening. Plus I've been cold, which doesn't help. I, but before I started recording this, I literally had a bath towel in the dryer wrapped around my head. Um, but you know, I had to pull that off so I didn't look too crazy. So yeah, so we are just gonna finish up getting stuff packed up and try to get to bed tonight at a decent hour so that we can get up early and get on the cruise ship. And of course I will take you guys along for that as well. But for now, I'm gonna say good night and I will see you in the morning. Never mind. I figured I would show you guys and be vulnerable. This is how I have been all evening wrapped in this dang bath towel that my mom has put in the dryer probably a hundred times because my nerve pain has been horrible and I can only feel like from my shoulders up. So everything from here has to be warm so that I feel better. But anyways, I will see you in the morning. Good night. <laughs> Good morning guys, it is bright and early and it is cruise day. We are packing everything up here at the Airbnb and are going to head down to the pier to get on the cruise ship. I am so excited. I slept so good both nights at this Airbnb. I don't know what the magic is here, but it was really nice because I have horrible insomnia usually, but I'm gonna count it as a win. So let's get cruising. I will bring you along with me. Come on. All right, we have made it into the carnival and we are ready for our cruise. Say hi, Paul. Hi. And we are ready to go up and find our room. I will be going to run upstairs. See you guys then. Mom, Dad, say hi. Ready to go on the ship. Hey guys, welcome to the room. We have finally made it on board and I wanted to do a quick little room tour before it gets really messy with all of our stuff. So I was able to get a wheelchair accessible room that has two twin beds. As you can see, mom is putting stuff away. And then up in the ceiling pops down a 
bunk bed and of course we are putting dad back up there and then it has a nice bathroom with a roll-in shower which is so great for me and it also has a really nice large closet as you can see mom is putting stuff away so that none of my stuff gets wrinkly and yeah so this is our room what is really nice about it is it also has like electric doors so for someone that has hand movement that would be really nice um obviously that doesn't really benefit me but you can just push the button the door is open and you can roll right on but i just wanted to show you guys my room we actually saved a little bit of money by getting a room with no window at the bottom of the ocean or the bottom of the boat so i might go a little stir crazy but i will just go up for air so let's have some fun and get vacation started I would sell out. take every brother and sister of mine we'd roll in the sunshine and sleep when it's dark hoping to find somewhere we can call home but it's black As you can see, we are taking off out of port. There is beautiful buildings behind me. I, I am so excited to get this cruise started, and I'm going to take you along through the entire thing. We're going to have a fun week together. Let's get started. Just breathe in the poison and hope God is real. Hey guys, we're at dinner tonight. Our first dinner on the cruise ship. Say hi, mom. Hi, mom. Oh my gosh. Um, so yeah, we're having our first dinner. I am. I think I'm getting like a shrimp uh, lim linguine or something like that, and then cheesecake for dinner. And yeah, we're just gonna have a wonderful dinner. It has been beautiful so far. The ocean is amazing. Um, and I will catch up with you guys tonight to do a recap of the day. All right, Dad's testing this bunk bed. Let's see how he can do. If he can get over to it because of all the suitcases. Come on, Dad, climb up there. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, see, now I can't see Jesus. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. Don't do that. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh. There you go. Dad's bad, bad, huh? Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. I need All to right. scoot up. All right, guys. It has been a long day. I finished with dinner with my parents. Then we kind of just went and walked around, checked out the cruise ship a little bit. I am so tired, though. It is, uh, what, 11.20, I think. Um, and I am so ready for bed. But... It's been a wonderful day. I was really impressed with how easy it was to get on board. Like they made it super streamlined. There was a ton of people, but you know, we got right on no problem. Um, I've been so far been impressed with how accessible they are. Um, you know, there's elevators to every floor even, um, you know, when there's stairs to get up to like the next uh, deck, there's typically an elevator really close by so that I can just pop in, go up, and then, you know, be with everyone else. I am really enjoying it, and I think I'm going to be going on plenty more cruises, but I will keep you guys in the loop for what we have in store for the rest of the week. This has been a good day one, and I'm excited to see what tomorrow brings. But for now, I'm going to call it a night and get in bed. So I'll see you guys first thing in the morning. Good night.
A new home for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in it. Good morning guys, it is officially day two on the cruise. As you saw, we just had breakfast. It was really good actually. I am ready to get today started though. It's going to be so much fun. But my mom and I came back to our room to do my hygiene impression up. And look what they made us. That is so cute. It's like a, I say it's a pug. My mom says it's a bear. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. Because that thing looks like a pug to me. Or like an evil bat or something. But anyways, follow along. We're going to have so much fun today. I cannot wait to soak up the sun. As you know, I'm from Portland where it is very rainy, so I am ready to get a tan. Let's go. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. Cause I find my way. So when we were out on the deck watching the ocean, um, I have just spent like 90% of the day today just enjoying the sunshine. It feels so good. Um, yeah, so we are getting ready to go to dinner in a little bit, but I am just enjoying the sun uh, in the sunshine. So show them the ocean up. So I'm going to relax, finish listening to my book, and I will see you guys for dinner. Alright guys, so it is later and we are finally dressed to go to dinner. We are doing the teppanyaki. It is basically like where they cook in front of you and yeah, we are all dressed up. Mom is looking beautiful. Show mom. Mom say hi. hi. Dad looks good too, but he's filming, so we're gonna go to dinner and enjoy some delicious food, and I will talk to you guys after. And deck three. And my favorite deck is deck four. Deck for why casino? Chico <laughs> yeah. Bay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Japanese oil. And rum. Look at the fire. Why? 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 Why?
dinner was so good. I am so full. Um, it was such a good show, as you saw. I threw in some clips. Um, I am back in the room. I am so tired, but we are going to a comedy show tonight. So I threw on a sweater because I'm freezing. And we're going to go see the show. And then I will probably touch base with you guys before I go to bed and let you know, like, the rundown of the day, like we've been doing. So I'm going to go get some laughs in and I'll talk to you soon. Hi, guys. I am back from the comedy show. It was really good. Um, it's actually been a really good day. I know I haven't um, had a bunch of content from today, but that's because I have spent like 90% of the day just enjoying the sunshine and staring at the ocean going by. Um, we have another day tomorrow on the ship and then Tuesday we are in Aruba. So I'll have a lot more content once we start getting to these islands and stuff, but for the next day or so, I'll probably just be relaxing in the sunshine, listening to my book, and just soaking up the sun. I am loving the weather. It is so beautiful. Today has been a great day, like I had mentioned. One thing I have noticed, though, is the boat is so rocky. Like, my mom, my poor mom, is so sick. Um, just from the, you know, the boat rocking and motion sickness, I have felt like woozy or kind of like you're drunk, honestly, all day. And I hope that tomorrow is a little more calm. There's my poor mother behind me, very sick. Um, yeah, so to the, I hope tomorrow is, is, um, a little calmer on the seas, but yeah, today was a great day. Dinner was so good. I am still so full from dinner. Um, they cooked it, as you saw right in front of us. The chef was so funny. He was so good at his job. Um, yeah, I love it. I'm trying to think what else to tell you guys that happened today, but today's kind of been a slow day, so I am really tired, and I think I'm going to call it a night and get some good sleep. Hopefully I don't wake up like throwing up or something from this crazy like boat. But um, I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to hit the hay. Good night. Hi guys, editing Kenneth popping in here. I realized that I never filmed a video talking about what happened. So those last two pictures you saw were us sitting down in the medical deck because we got a call and it was from um, a nurse down in the medical unit saying that my dad was down there and asking for my mom and I, and so we're like, great, like something obviously happened. So we hurry down there and it turns out that my dad slipped down the stairs and dislocated his shoulder. So my dad's always had an issue with his shoulder popping out for probably the last 10 years. And yeah, he slipped and went to grab the arm rail and just pulled it out of place. And we were down there until, gosh, probably like one o'clock in the morning. They were able, thankfully, to get it to pop back in place. But then, of course, you know, once you get it, it to pop back in place, it's then sore for an entire week. So my poor mom was so sick, throwing up from being motion sickness, uh, or from having motion sickness, and then my dad slips down the stairs, popped his shoulder out, so then he couldn't really help, and so my mom is like crying, getting me in bed because she doesn't feel good, and my dad can't help. That night was a mess, and... I just had to share the story with you because I was editing and realized that I never talked about it and 
of course, that is a huge um, story that happened during our trip. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, I'm trying to think. I think that's all that I left out. So enjoy the rest of the video. Good morning, guys. We are officially in Aruba. I am so glad to get off of this boat for once. Um, let's go have some fun and check out this island. I am so excited to be here. Let's go check it out. morning guys we are officially off of the ship today and in Aruba we have sailed for two long days and I am so happy to finally be on an island so let's go check it out and see what all they have to offer and how accessible it is let's go there's mom and dad shopping in Aruba So we stopped really quick so that mom could cool off and grab something to eat. But I just wanted to show you guys, the sun is so hot here that I had to grab some cheap ass little shirt and buy a beach towel to cover my legs because I was getting so sunburned. I already have blisters on my fingers from, the, from being on the cruise ship. So it is a scorcher. So I just wanted to show you guys my crazy ass outfit and I'm rolling around with the beach towel, with the beach towel on my legs, but it is so beautiful and I am living the dream. Mom and dad in the water. So I'm sure all you saw just now was some shaky footage from around Aruba, but we are back on the boat right now. It is unbelievably hot outside. That sun feels like it's literally on top of my head and I already am blistered on my hands and so I'm trying to be very careful my mom is very sensitive to the heat so she's having a hard time but we are back on the boat for a little bit 
we are going to try and get out and about this evening when the sun goes down and it's a little less crazy hot. Um, we're here um, at this port until 9 o'clock tonight, so we have a little while, but I, if we get out the night, I will be sure and put in that footage. I am going to give Aruba like a C minus in accessibility. It's all like cobblestone and not very accessible, but we're doing the best we can. Uh, let's see if we get out this evening. If not, I will see you tonight for a recap. And with that, Aruba Day is officially over. It was such a good day. It was interesting. It was really freaking hot. I am glad though that I was able to get out again later in the evening when it was not so hot. It was still warm, but it was breezy and it was beautiful. I would say that it is not very accessible, but it was manageable. We did some good shopping. We did some good sightseeing and I am ready for tomorrow. I am headed to bed because I am so damn tired. So I will see you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning, guys. Today we are in Curacao. It's really windy, so I'm not sure how well you can hear me, but let's go on another adventure. I am wearing jeans today because I got super sunburned yesterday, so we're trying to protect my legs a little bit, but let's go have some fun and see what we can find. Just another sunny day in Southern California. It's where the people came. Ordering a smoothie. So that last clip you saw was my dad trying to fix my wheelchair. I have no idea what happened, but we took my headrest off. And for those of you that don't know, I control my wheelchair by my headrest. All of the sensors are built in and we took it off to take a picture. And as soon as we put it on, my chair no longer worked and I have no idea what happened. So today has been a really shitty day, honestly. 
I am kind of really over it and at this point I'm just ready to go home. I hope that it gets better, I don't know, but it just is so, so, I don't know, I, I can't describe the feeling. It's just because like my wheelchair is literally my whole independence. Like without my chair, I have nothing, I'm stuck in one spa and I cannot be independent at all and so in moments like this when it breaks it really messes with like my mental health and really gets me down and I am also in a foreign country so I have no one that I can call to come fix my chair and yeah so I don't know what I'm gonna do I still have uh, four days of this cruise and then I'm in Miami for another four days after that so another week at least and I cannot imagine not being able to use my chair for a week but that's where we're at now I just really want to go to sleep and get this day over with because I am so frustrated sad and I don't know I just really want to go home I was so excited for this vacation I spent a lot of money to come on this vacation and I just have had trouble doing different things and things not being accessible that it's just kind of been a little frustrating I've had a ton of fun as you can see in the previous videos um, but yeah I just am really really annoyed so I am going to leave the video here for this evening and I will pick you guys up tomorrow and let you know what is happening hopefully we can figure something out so that I'm not just screwed and someone has to push me the whole time because that will drive me crazy. So I'm going to try to go to bed, clear my head, and wake up with a better attitude so that hopefully we can figure something out. I will see you guys in the morning. Good night. So if the night couldn't get any crazier, we forgot to charge the stupid Hoyer lift and now I'm stuck in a sling and we can't lower me down. It, it went up a little bit, but now I'm stuck like this and we have to wait for it to charge before I could do anything. I feel like I'm giving birth, but you know, hopefully I'll go to bed eventually. Good night.